Pickles I found or claypot rice is a quintessential Cantonese dish. You see it everywhere here in Guangdong, and it's a super common lunch choice. Around noon, you will see all manners of people piled in bowzai fan restaurants, enjoy some of those delicious claypot rice with that a uh, perfectly cooked rice, a nice topping, and a beautiful even crust. It's one of those simple things that's so tasty that's impossible not to love. While some people do make clay pot rice at home, it's more of a restaurant thing here because it's often quite difficult to achieve that uh, even crust on a home stove. In the old days, there will be this kind of uh, traditional charcoal setup to help get a nice even cooking. Or alternatively, you can use gas with a low-lying stove and some scales. And nowadays, some bonsai farm places would even use this kind of a special electric bonsai farm cooking gadgets. Now, a couple years back, we shared a way to use the charcoal grill to mimic the old ways of making clay pot rice. While it's fun and all, the downside is obvious because nobody is firing up a charcoal grill every day. But then at its core, both I find should be a everyday kind of thing. And I actually make and eat both I find myself all the time. So over the years, I kind of honed my own personal approach in making a quick and pretty decent both I find whenever I want it. Using one piece of equipment that many home kitchens in Guangdong may not have, but you probably have, an oven. So now let's make some bonsai fan. One very basic and important trick of making a good bonsai fan is soaking the rice with hot boiled water, which basically kind of precooks the rice a little bit. That's very important because once the pot hits the stove, it goes way too fast for the rice to develop a ideal texture. Now, before we get started, I want to take this chance to also address the issue of water quantity, because I know many people may feel stressed about how much water to put in when they are not using a rice cooker, and the finger knot trick does not always work depending on your uh, cooking vessel. So to this, my advice will always be weighing. Weigh your rice, weigh your water, and remember after rinsing and washing your rice, the rice already takes on some liquid. So here's how I would do it. Put a bowl on your scale. Tear, weigh your rice. Remember the number for this recipe, we are using one cup or about 210 grams of jasmine rice. Now, toss your rice in a strainer to rinse off the surface starch. And now let's do our math. We are using a one part rice to 1.1 part water ratio. So that means we will have 210 grams of rice and then we'll be using 230 grams of water. That means 210 plus 230 equals 440. And that will be the total weight that we are looking for. So now just look at your scale and add in the hot boiled water we needed. Just fill the water in until the scale reaches around 440. And then give it a good stir to break up the rice clumps. Then cover and let it sit for half an hour. So when the rice is soaking, we can prep other ingredients. And today our topping will be a classic, which is tender beef with egg or so here's 100 grams of loin, thinly sliced against the grain. We'll be adding a quarter teaspoon of gan or uh, sodium carbonate to help tenderize the beef a little bit. Or you can use baking soda in a pinch. Then just mix in a quarter teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon sugar, a teaspoon of cornstarch, an eighth teaspoon black pepper, a quarter teaspoon soy sauce, a half teaspoon dark soy sauce for color, a half teaspoon liaojiu aka Shaoxing wine, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, and two tablespoons of water. Water may seem a lot here, but beef can really take on some liquid. So just keep mixing and stirring so that it incorporates into the beef. Then just toss in an optional bit of julienne ginger, about a half centimeter's worth, 
together with about a teaspoon of oil to coat everything well. Then just set it aside until you are ready to top your rice. Next thing to prep would be the bao zai fan seasoned soy sauce. It's simple. Just mix a quarter teaspoon sugar, a pinch of MSG, two teaspoons soy sauce, one teaspoon fish sauce, half tablespoon water, and just set aside for later use. And next, when the rice is done its 30 minute soaking, we can start cooking. So to your clay pot, pour in about a teaspoon oil, peanut preferably, and give it an even rub. Then pour in your soaked rice together with the soaking water, give it a jiggle to make it even. Then onto the stove, heat on medium, cover, and we can start cooking. About 6 to 7 minutes later, when strong steam is coming out, let it go for a little bit more, maybe about a minute or half a minute, or until there's no water left in the pot. Then drizzle in about a tablespoon of oil along the edge of the pot to further accentuate the crust. Next, cover and pop the pot onto the bottom rack of a preheated 230 degrees Celsius oven for a total of 20 minutes. So both I find restaurants would cook the rice directly on stovetop, but that requires mastery of heat and momentum. And over the years of making bo zai fan for myself, I was inspired by a restaurant in Hong Kong that uses oven to cook their clay pot rice directly and figure out a way to get that nice even crust of the rice. So now just let your rice go in the oven and when there's 5 minutes left, we need to take it out and add on our toppings. So just uh, evenly spread your beef onto the rice leave a hole at the center for the egg later, and then pop it back into the oven to finish that timer. And when time's up, take it out and drizzle on your seasoned soy sauce. And after all this, to finish it, we are gonna give it a final blast on medium high on the stove. So just tilt it like this and go for 30 seconds for each side. And of course, you can skip this step if your stove is flat, the crust will still be nice. Now, after that final blast, shut off the heat, add in an egg at the center, cover and let it sit for another minute. Then sprinkle on some scallions for fragrance and look, and now your clay pot rice is done, with a perfectly cooked rice texture and a nice, beautiful, even crust, just as close as you can get on streaks in Guangdong. So because I make bao zai fan all the time and I already streamlined my process, so the steps shown in this video are uh, how I would do my mise en place for making clay pot rice. I know that soaking your rice and popping it in the oven seems like a long time, but you can prep your ingredients and some other dish when the rice is soaking and then finish whipping everything else up when the rice is in the oven. And then you can have a pretty tasty and roundup meal in just about an hour. So right, as always, check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.